What's going on? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Chef P. Let's just get into it, man. Not even two dollars in my bank account. Okay, so let's talk about the money. She said that she only has two dollars. Dave's Gourmet, the company that she's referring to that she signed the deal with, that's supposed to be paying her royalties, they sent this statement in to me sharing their side of the story. They said Dave's Gourmet has adhered to the terms of the agreement with Ms. Shaw. We disagree with Ms. Shaw's allegations. Dave's Gourmet has paid Chef P over $120,000 to date and it continues to make all payments as due on time based upon the terms of the contract. <laughs> I made a video. Being nice, Chef. I was nice! And you lied to us? You lied. $120,000 in six months? I started paying you that when it hit the shelves. That was about seven months ago. And you lied. <laughs> and they're still paying you! They're still paying you! And they plan to continue to make all payments as due and on time. You said you needed $100,000, Chef P. They're still paying you. <sighs> this is why it's so hard for me not to go off on people, you know? This is why it's hard for me not to... This is why I always struggle to just... Be nice. Y'all saw my last video. I was kind. I was like, maybe she did get screwed over. You saw Moist Critical. He made a video uh, a little bit after the rest of us did. And he said the same thing. He hopes they're doing well. But all of us asked the question of where did that money go? I said that I saw you starting on TikTok. And now you're broke. You ain't got enough money to put food <laughs> on your kid's back. I mean, food on your kid's back. I'm so flustered. You can't even put clothes on your kid's back. But they're still paying you, Jeff. Jeff, they're still paying you. And this is why. And this is why, Chef, that you weren't going to be able to raise no 100 racks. Nobody can trust anything you say. You lie every chance you get. You get on here and you started crying when I showed that last video. Crying. And they've given you $120,000. So you're trying to tell me. And don't. And guys. Remember, they're paying her for the royalties, right? They took her royalties, but that is also with them fronting, doing the production, making the sauce, getting it into Walmart, doing all the back-end co uh, contracts, and doing all of that. And all she has to do is just keep marketing on her TikTok for free. $120,000, people. That's $20,000 a month. And she has $2 in her bank account. Shout out to Pink Book Lessons. Because she was on top of it. Please go subscribe to her. And go watch the whole video. It's amazing. And it really breaks down how demented this individual is. All the stuff that she keeps saying. And Pink Book Lessons, I'm sure, is going to keep updating us. So you please go check her out. Guys, I understand that we need to support each other. But it's stuff like this that makes it hard for me to want to support other content creators. Right? Because you come out with your pink sauce and you had the dang attitude when you got on that little talk show of yours. Right? That whole video is gone now. Get on that little talk show. Get a little crazy. Get a little nippy. Somebody comes out and tries to help you. Comes out and tries to help you. And what was, and what was your response to that? You're not special. You're not special. <laughs> I will never understand. Let's go. Let's just just take like one one quick step back to that. I got my own video up here. So let's take a step back to uh, the the interview. We you pretty much said the girl wasn't special, right? And and all, I'm a supporter, but. I think you should look into this. Take this step. 
Did you research this? Did you check out your packaging there? Versus trying to tear down my business and my livelihood. And my livelihood. And my livelihood. Duh. Thank you, Trey. <laughs> so, with this being said, here is now my real reaction to what all has happened and she being broke. Last time I was nice. This time it's a little different. Now it's time to get to some real honesty. I told you guys that sometimes if we were to get enough money, I told you my story. I've had money. I've had cars. I've had houses. I've been broke. I've been evicted. I've lost my vehicles. I got money and was stupid. I said that may be if what happened to her. She may have got the money and blew it. And it sounds like that's what she's doing. Because, listen, either way, guys, either way, even if, if even if she still has every bit of that money, you got to understand, there's no way, there's no good way out of this. Listen, let's say, let's say she has all of that money still left. Why would she ask for $100,000 to go sue a company that has paid her $120,000? Is she going to win that? How is she, she going to win that? So if she still has money, she's still balling out of control. If she shows up on a TikTok later and say, I still got the money. Why are you asking for a hundred racks? That's a, that's, that's a scam. You know that, right? That's not nice to do to people. That's not right. That's not right. If that's what you're doing, that's despicable. Now let's take it the other route, right? She really is flat broke. Okay, that's fine. But you know what that means? You're awful with money and you also told us that they took all your money. You told us they took all of your money. And now you want $100,000 from us? I'm lost. I'm completely lost. Let, 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 let's see that clip again. Trey. Because I need an attorney. Mm -hmm. I need an attorney. Mm -hmm. I need help. I need people to support me. These people literally took my idea and they just taking the money from it and not putting forth anything. All those sales being made through the month are because of me. Because of you. What's you gonna take, Trey? Because of you. <laughs> because of you. You said they took all your money. They are letting you market on TikTok for free while still paying you the royalties while they front the bill for making all the sauces. You said over 200,000 bottles have been sold. I'm sure much more has been made because they, they have a long shelf life. So, yeah, they're fronting all that, doing all the contracts with Walmart, making sure it's getting in there, taking their cut that Walmart's going to take. They're doing all this, getting it to every single store, using their factories or whatever they use to get this all over these Walmarts. And it was you... Who got this going? Girl, you couldn't even send it in the mail. You were sending it in the mail. It couldn't even get that right. And you're going to say that they're not doing the work, especially after they paid you $120,000. But you thought this money wasn't going to go away, did you? <laughs> you thought this $120,000 was going to keep coming. Because remember what she said? If y'all didn't remember, she said, I'm a millionaire. I just ain't got the money yet. Right? I believe that's what she said. You pay me my money. Nah, and then the thing is, what's so they playing themselves? Like, it ain't even been a year yet. How y'all start acting like gremlins? I said it hasn't been a year yet. How y'all already acting like gremlins? Let's see this last part, guys. It's, it's sad, man. It's sad, ain't it? Sad. Let's watch one more part here, guys. Let's watch one more part. No, and the thing is, what's so sad about it is, like, like y'all have to understand, when all of that happened, I was going, I was freaking mentally fucked up, okay? I had people accusing me of freaking murder and all kind of stuff. But people were accusing you of murder. What I think, I'm assuming she's really meaning is that people looked into what she was saying and said, I don't believe it. I, I don't trust that at all. At all. It, fucking evictions and motherfuckers don't want to fucking pay me my money. They don't want to pay you your money. Nah, and then the thing is, what's so they playing themselves? Like, it ain't even been a year yet. How that was the part before that. 
So you guys let me know what you think. This individual came out and said that she needs a hundred thousand dollars after being paid a hundred and twenty thousand dollars, and that money went poof. No way you can get out of this. Either you still got the money and you lied to us and you say you need money on t- uh, on GoFundMe. Secondly, you don't have any money and you're broke and you asked us for $100,000 after saying they didn't pay you anything, which was $120,000. You are making a company look bad and trying to do bad on their name. You understand that you're starting to defame these individuals when they've done nothing wrong? I told you this stuff was going to come out. Shout out again to Pink Book Lessons. Ah... <sighs> Content creators, what did Abba say? Can be some of the dumbest people in the world.